Hi guys, check this out. It's a 12 volt powered hydraulic jack and air compressor all in one. How amazing is that? So what does this mean? It means with your 12 volt powered cigarette lighter socket, you just plug it in and this unit, it can actually lift up cars. It can lift up vehicles up to five tons. That's crazy. But that's actually gonna be a massive game changer for anyone that's working on their vehicles, got a flat tire, needs to change a tire. Um, and also, you can actually pump up the air in your tires. Look at this, it's got an air hose inbuilt to the unit. You just screw it onto the air valve and you can pump up your tire if you've got flat tires and wanna check your air pressures. How amazing is this product, guys? We've gone ahead and used this product over the last six months and it's gone and lifted all types of vehicles of different weights and shapes. It's just been a massive lifesaver, guys, a game changer. It's made life so much easier and so much more comfortable. We can't wait to show you this video reviewing the hydraulic jack aspect, the air compressor aspect, what comes included, how much it cost, what the impressions have been like. And uh, welcome to everyone that's new to this channel. And for everyone that's returning, welcome back. Now there are two variants of this unit, guys. We got the $114 unit, which is just the air compressor and jack combo, but you can get a version that has a impact gun as well so that you can impact off all of your wheel bolts. Okay, let's take you guys through what comes included. Of course, we've got a set of instructions. We've got a emergency tool for breaking windows and cutting seat belts. Uh, there was also included some gloves, handy, hey, why not? You can never have too many gloves. Uh, we've got the power cord for the unit with the cigarette lighter barrel and a quick connect plug. We have the battery clamps, which will give us the cigarette lighter socket if you're going off your battery or a like, secondary battery. And of course the unit. Okay guys, now let's give you a bit of a closer look at this unit. It's just amazing how much they've crammed into this thing. So compact, so portable. A bit of a closer look at that air hose that's uh, reeled up inside. There's a bunch of nozzle attachments and, and an emergency release tool as well for the jack in case the um, raised jack gets stuck in position. So that's amazing. A bit more of a look around here, guys. We've got the adjustable jack head here for if you've got a massive gap between the jack and your jack points. A bit of a look at the top here. We've got all the buttons for the functions here. We have the gauge for the air compressor as well. Uh, underneath a metal reinforcement plate, which is excellent. Okay, so the power cord is very easy to install to the unit, guys. There's a male-female connector here. You can only put it in one way. A little cutout here so you don't end up cutting and fraying your cord, which is excellent. And a bit of a closer look at the torch here, guys. There's one at the front, giving us a little bit of extra light. Uh, it's not that bright, really, but the one on top is excellent. It shows you your jack point really, really well, um, lighting up under the car. Feel free to pause the video here, guys. You can have a bit of a read of the specs if you need. But without further ado, here's the first test uh, as we use this product to jack up our van, which is heavy, full of tools. So plugging into the cigarette lighter socket here and then we can go and lift up the van for the very first time. And it was just amazing seeing this uh, product in action, that it actually did work, that it actually was a real. Um, in about a minute and a half, it lifted the van off the ground, and uh, we should say the wheel came off the ground, uh, able to lift the car from 155 millimeter to about a 450 mil, which is amazing. It's almost a half meter off the ground and uh, really does make life so much easier. But check this guys, we found a nail in the tire. Ah, but hey, it was so handy having this product uh, with us. We were um, in the lovely countryside of Wyala. So with the massive driving we had, it was an amazing uh, peace of mind having this unit, being able to top up the air that was slowly leaking from the tire. So just lowering the van down again with just one button and uh, then the car is down to earth once again. So this is one of our client cars, uh, a really heavy SUV, and it lifted this Prado with no issues at all. It was just amazing to see that again, this product, uh, very, very affordable, uh, was able to lift such a you know, heavy vehicle. 
So excellent to see that we were able to put this product to the test uh, really early on and it passed with flying colors. We also have used this unit on a bunch of vehicles uh, over the last six months. We had this 2007 Mercedes, lifted you know, this vehicle up uh, without any issues at all. Next up, we had a 2004 Honda CRV. Again, a mini SUV, but no issues lifting the car up off the ground. One month in, we'd kept the log of every vehicle that we'd taken up and down. Over 10 times, vehicles had gone up and down and no issues. Six months later, guys, we still kept going with every single time we took a car up and down. Uh, it was over 30, 35 times that vehicles have been moving up and down with this jack and no issues. The jack is still going. We're still using it up to this day. So far, so good. That's the jack for you guys in a bit of a nutshell. But for now, let's swap to the air compressor component that this unit can provide. Uh, so on the other side, one of these flaps here, you'll see air is written. And inside, of course, is that reeled up hose with a screwable connection for your air couplings. Uh, and this was the first test, pumping up the air inside our van's tire. Very, very easy to do. As soon as you screw this on, it'll tighten up into place and you'll automatically see on the gauge on the unit what air uh, PSI level that you're at. Um, so here we see it's about 25 that it's sitting at. Um, we just flick over the air function and as soon as you switch that over, we've sped up the video just for your uh, convenience guys, you'll see the needle creeping up corresponding in five uh, PSI increments. Um, and pretty accurate actually. We went up to a petrol station and tested this uh, and it was basically on point with the digital reading on the gauge that was at the petrol station. So that's excellent. And um, yeah, you know, it was as, as mentioned, it was really, really handy having this unit up our sleeves for that slow air leak. Uh, we were able to get it to the next um, tire shop that was open after the long weekend. But guys, that is the air compressor in action. Here's a bit of a closer look of some of those attachments. So there's a, a little needle for you know pumping up balls and other um, inflator heads, which is awesome. And uh, we actually went through and inflated a completely flat bicycle tire. So that was a really good test. We weren't sure how this was gonna go, uh, but it managed it with no issues at all. And uh, at this stage, guys, we do have to comment that six months later, the air compressor function of this unit actually has stopped. Um, we're not sure why, we haven't gone and exploded and opened up this unit to work out why it stopped working, but that's the only aspect that the unit has failed so far in the six months of ownership. It's only about, about, say, five months in. About a month ago from the time of this video editing, that the air compressor function has stopped. It just no longer works, which is a bit of a shame, but hey, that's why we're making this video for you guys, so you can get an honest review and an honest opinion on this unit. Okay guys, so now we can take you through some of the minimum and maximum heights that this unit provides. So the minimum height, 155 millimeters. So if your vehicle is lower than 155, this unit won't slide underneath, but um, 155 and over, this unit can go underneath. So we've actually sped this video up. You've got a little bit of a time lapse of how long this jack actually takes to go from the lowest point to the highest point. So we found that basically on average, every time we recorded this, it was about a minute and a half going from lowest point to the highest point. The highest point here guys being 370 millimeters roughly. So not bad from a vehicle that's at 155 to start can be lifted up to 370 mil off the ground. So that's great. Uh, lowering the jack, actually we found again the time lapse to, to see how long it takes uh, was about the same minute and a half on the way down as well. So that is great. Okay, now for anyone that's got a bit more of a raised vehicle or an SUV or a car that's not that low riding, the top of this jack, you'll see there's a height adjustment screw. So you're able to, in this case, loosen it and the bolt head comes up, or you can tighten it and it goes down. So removing it completely, just to show you guys a bit closer, that it can be removed all the way. So be careful if you are adjusting this unit. 
um, but it's quite substantial, quite a lot heavier than expected. So that's a, a great sign. But you want to make sure that this is safely, you know, threaded in enough. But with a few turns, we found that we could get about 240 millimeters for the maximum height of this jack at rest. So without the jack having doing any lifting, 240 millimeters is the highest that it can start from. And lifting it up to its maximum lifted height, we found that this unit could do 455 millimeters in total height. So not too bad at all, guys. Again, we found from 240 up to 455 millimeters at its highest extended point. Not too bad at all. You know, it's been a massive help for some of the SUVs and things we've lifted, so that is awesome. So guys, to start leaving you with some final impressions of this unit, um, every time that we're needing to lift a vehicle, this is our go-to jack now. It's just so super convenient. Um, if there's a battery close by, we can use these clamped uh, cigarette lighter socket adapter there. Um, if the cigarette socket inside the vehicle is handy enough, we can just use that. But with uh, an easy connection there, and then going to the unit here, you're able to use this unit to your advantage. So whether that's for the emergency situations, if you keep this unit in the back of your car for a, a day that you've got a flat tire or need to do a tire change, uh, or you also wanna check your air pressure of your tires, if you've got a little bit of a flat tire, you wanna pump it up. Um, to the people that maybe wanna use this as a little bit of a project uh, jack. So if you're always working on cars at home, uh, you want to avoid big heavy jacks, um, you know, this really isn't that heavy. It all fits inside that case. You're able to lift it around nice and easily. It's really something we can suggest it. We can recommend it. It's something that we absolutely enjoy using every single time because it just really takes the manual labor out of lifting up your vehicle. Um, it's, yeah, honestly worth every dollar. We'd buy it again. Actually, we probably, we've actually thought about buying a second one and being able to lift up two sides of, of a car at once. So if that helps you guys in terms of your decision making, great. So in summary, guys, for the average user, I think this unit will have a pretty long lifespan. You know, if you're only going to be looking at using it in emergency situations or, you know, in once in a blue moon for an oil change, you want to lift your car up to get underneath more easily. I think this unit will have a pretty long lifespan, um, but even for you know someone such as myself that use this you know during work purposes and you know quite often getting this unit out, um, you know the hydraulic jack aspect is still going strong. Um, just the air compressor component um, is out of action, so perhaps it was just overloaded. Uh, maybe it's an internal blown fuse or something like that. But um, I say for a hundred and fourteen dollars. This unit really, really was a good purchase. I mean, even if it conks out altogether um, at some stage going forward, even if it only lasts under one year, I would still say for the amount of time and hassle that this unit has saved me, I feel that this has been a really good purchase. So perhaps, um, you know, this video can help you guys make up your mind uh, for whether you want to purchase one of these units. Um, please let me know in the comments if this video has helped you, if there's something else that you'd like to see uh, with this unit going forward. I want to try and you know test out that 5 ton capacity. It does say that it's rated for 5 ton. Uh, so looking to see if I can test that out and see if this unit struggles or fails, or maybe it's rated for 5 ton but it can actually lift up to 6 ton, 7 ton, who knows. Um, here's a little bit of a uh, still of the instructions uh, for anyone interested. You can feel free to pause and have a bit more of a closer read. But all in all, guys, uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you like this video or perhaps if there's any other types of products you want to see me test and, uh, you know, review. Uh, going forward, there are a bunch of videos that are still unedited and not yet ready for you guys uh, for the YouTube channel. So really looking forward to getting to those um, but as always, really do want to bring good quality videos for you guys. Uh, don't want to rush them. Uh, do have to apologize. We are very busy on our end as well, but do want to go forward making as many videos as possible for you guys. And, um, as always really wanting to thank you all for all the support, all the comments. Uh, let's keep growing together. Let's keep learning together. Um, so for now guys, I want to wish you all all the very best. 
please uh, jack up your cars safely, use jack stands, and for now, take care, and I'll catch you guys at the next video.